one of the most exciting developments in science over the last several years has been the discovery of planets that go around stars far away in the universe. That is to say, there might be extrasolar planets. So far, there have been something like 1100 of them which have been discovered. And there's an estimate that in just our galaxy, which is the Milky Way, there might be something like between 17 to 20 billion such extrasolar planets. Now, humans have always speculated about there being planets outside of the solar system, but there was never any proof and it's a very, very hard problem. And let's see why. A planet does not have any source of light of its own. It only reflects the light that comes to it from its star. And that reflection is always going to be just a very, very tiny fraction of the light that is incident upon it. So then the question, how do you see an extrasolar planet? The answer is that there are something like eight or nine or ten different techniques. And I'm not going to be able to tell you about these in five minutes. But here is one very simple one. So imagine that this is a star and there's a planet that goes around it. The light from the star is received on Earth. But when that planet comes between the star and Earth, then there's a temporary glitch in the light it's immediately obvious that there is something that has imposed itself between the source and the detector. Now, this is just one method. By this method, it has been possible to see multiple planetary systems, that is to say, many planets circling the same star. The planets that have been seen so far are the big ones. And that's quite obvious because a bigger planet will intercept more light. We have also seen that these big planets are mostly gaseous, like, for example, Jupiter. All the planets that have been seen are either much too hot or much too cold to sustain life. Now, the question is, how were these planets formed? We don't really know the answer, but probably in the same way that the solar system planets were formed. So something like a few billion years ago, in the case of the solar system, four and a half or five billion years ago, a star, a supernova exploded and it spewed out matter that went off into space. Clumps of this matter started coming together under the gravitational force and that's what formed all the planets of the solar system. There is also a, a second possibility, which is that matter, as it goes around a black hole, it could be spewed out, and that matter could also possibly form planets. Now, the really interesting question is, for us human beings anyway, is there life elsewhere in the universe? And what form could that life take? What we do know is that life needs certain conditions. A planet cannot be too hot or too cold. It has to have water, at least in some form. And there must not be too much radiation because radiation destroys cells and destroys life itself. We don't have an answer today as to whether there is life elsewhere in the universe and what shape and form it takes. But it would have huge consequences for us if there was to be life and that life was as intelligent or perhaps more intelligent than what we have here on Earth. Imagine the impact this would have upon our political and social systems. That's all for now.